Okay. All right, guys. I'm just gonna do a quick review on my Condor plate carrier. Um, I just picked it up for sixty-eight dollars. It just comes as a regular plate carrier, no patches, knife, you know, nothing tactical, no grenades, no sling. Um, it's a good vest, a lot of molly, as you can tell, goes all the way around the mall. Molly for days, and even extra Velcro, but at operation stuff like that, I run a backpack, so there's no point in sticking stuff back there. Um, adjustable shoulder straps up here, plus the you know, little cheek rest on top right here, so if you want to get a little snuggly in a corner, take a nice little nap out on the battlefield. Or just hold your sling in place, that's what I use it for. Um, has a nice little micro, I don't know, mesh. They, they think that it's more breathable, but mm, I, I feel like it confides to my back and sticks and creates a pool. Yeah, <laughs> but they say that it keeps it, you cooler. I don't think so. So yeah, um, there's the outside. Oh. Open up the kangaroo pouch. You have a good amount of room in there. You know, fit your hand in there. Good amount of room. Throw some gummy bears or beef jerky or, you know, Parno mags, whatever. If you get bored out on the battlefield, who cares? It's your private little stash. You know, or maps, or something useful like maps, or BBs, mags, I don't know, I don't really care, but whatever you want in there. Alright, flip it up. Oh. Open it up! Okay. Now you have two um, buckles there, which uh, adjust to your stomach or uh, waist, however high or low you wear it. Uh, open it up again mesh mesh it's got the uh, pocket here to where you can put in plates I use cardboard it seems to work just fine um, a nice little touch that they did is uh, on the waist buckles here the um, you know how you always have excess of the belt what they did is they attached these little velcro markers where you can roll up the belt and then velcro them to where they're not dangling down and you gotta tuck them in things like that and then boom, another secret pouch for your porno. Voila! Porno pouch, beef jerky pouch, whatever pouch. It's your that's literally your own private pouch. And if you can't and if you have too much porn, they gave you a secondary. I mean, look at that. Boom, boom. Two private pouches. You can do whatever you want with it. <sighs> um it's a very universal vest, I won't lie. Um, like I said, it's really adjustable. The shoulder, um, these are actually extremely adjustable up here. Um, oh, I'm 6'2", 180 pounds. Oh, and it fits me pretty much fine. Um, take a good, you know, 5-10 minutes to adjust it to your body. And you should be just fine. Um, like I said, lots of molly, lots of different pouches, you know, storage pouches. I'm joking about the porno thing, you know. I don't sit sit long after that. It takes me a good while. Um, beef jerky, things like that, BBs, mags, you know. Extra things that you don't have places to carry on your actual molly. They give you different pouches, like you know, a backup high cap or, you know, just things like that. Um, it's actually very useful. And then up here, as you can see, Velcro to put pouches or blah, 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 patches. Um, you know, admin pouch here, and it's not so bulky to where you can't, you know, you can reach all the way around, all the way back. So um, I did have M4 mags back there, but Red Dawn's coming up, so I took them off and uh, put them on my tactical belt so I can run my backpack. Um, hmm. Yeah, pretty much. If you're looking for a, a good plate carrier that's not little, um, and that has molly all the way around, and that has spare pouches everywhere, 
and has a good build for seventy under seventy dollars. Condor. There you go. I don't know the specific uh, name of it, but I know that there's the the smaller one is actually like eighty or ninety dollars, and it's a lot smaller than this. It's like the tactical ones where the, the guys that are really tall like to wear them so their stomach shows. I don't know. I think it looks funny, but um, I prefer you know this type. It's a good vest. So that's pretty much it. Um, you'll see some field play with it at Red Dawn and following weekends after that. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or want to show me your badass looking vest or your secret porno sash or beef jerky. I love beef jerky. Um, go ahead and let me know. So thank you guys for watching.